friends once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel this video is all about the continuation of my previous video i can say part 3 from my previous video which is setting up the https ssl certificate for nginx on aws ec2 linux instance using docker and let's encrypt i have given the video link of my previous video in the description section just go through that video first and come back to this to get a full flow of your project i will give you a short heads up of my previous video and will get into this video in my previous video i explained how to serve our application using http certificate and also like how to have a valid domain name we overcome those issues using aws certificate manager and aws route 53 aws certificate manager is absolutely free and for domain name I used Namecheap to get my domain and routed the domain traffic using Route 53. If you notice in that video, I did the changes for my application that is hosted in AWS ECS backed with EC2 instance. Usually, it has one or more instance or task running behind my ECS. The traffic will be routed using Elastic Load Balancer. So we added certificate and domain name for that load balancer. Now come to another scenario. Instead of using ECS. most of them are using ec2 only for the testing demo or personal use after deploying their application in ec2 if they browse the url it will serve with http only because certificate is not installed in that server or machine or instance now in this video let's see how to install ssl certificate in ec2 linux machine using docker and serve the application using https while browsing the very first step or pre requirement for this demo is like launching an ec2 linux instance with the docker and git install in it i have created with the free tier instance so it's absolutely free and also like i have to create a domain name and hosted zone which i explained in my previous video itself i will give you a short heads up like what we will do in this video here itself in the ec2 machine i will be running a nginx from the docker images as a web server and will configure the nginx to use the ssl certificates who will provide the ssl certificates to get ssl certificates for our machine or website you need to get it from a certificate authority let's encrypt is a certificate authority so they will provide a free certificates to us and also they provide a client called certbot which is available as a docker image which can be used to automate the generation and the renewal of ssl certificate what this certbot will do is before issuing the certificate it will check whether there is an entry or not in route 53 hosted zone in technical terms it will be explained as the certificate bot will perform a challenge in which it communicates with our dns and ex expects certain outcome then only it will issue the certificate there are two types of challenges one is http and another one is dns right now we are going with http challenge for dns challenge i will be showing in another video let's get into the demo So this is my EC2 machine. I have created with the free tier, and this is my public IP. If you want the IP should not be changed, you can get the Elastic IP and attach to this EC2 machine. EC2 machine. And this is the mobile XTOM I am using to connect to the machine EC2 Linux machine. You can use any other SSH client like Putty or anything over there. And I have installed Docker in this machine, so I can give Docker if I find version. It will say like Docker version. and git version and i also installed docker compose docker post iphone iphone version okay so everything is fine uh, now the very first step is like we need to have an entry in our hosted zone so this is the hosted zones the road 50 the dashboard and the hosted zone i'll be making an entry for my application or for my ip instance so what i am doing is like i just copy this public ip address and will make an entry over here i am just making create a record set with by using simple routing creating a simple record so this is subdomain what i am doing is like for this testing what i am just giving test dot kathikcc demo dot xyz and it will attach it out to my ip v4 address and the end point is like ip address i am just giving the ip address of my ec2 machine just give creating the records and that's it now if you browse this pins it will route to my 
machine ip of this machine but it doesn't have anything over there now we'll get into our ec2 machine over here i have everything in my github repo so just i'll be cloning this github repo in my machine just git clone and then cloning it in the left side if you refresh it you can able to see the folder docker nginx so i'm just going over this folder so, docker nginx change directory okay if you want you can able to see this folder and files over here so this is a docker compose file we'll see what it has in the docker compose file it just have an nginx setup file only doesn't have much more over here and in docker compose dot certificate file it has the docker image of certbot which i said right let the let's encrypt provide a client called certbot so it has in the docker and this is a command which it will help us to set, generate a certificate here instead of this domain you need to give your domain and also like email you need to provide your email then only it will send the mail during the expiration of the certificate for renewal it will be get useful i'm just closing it and what you can do is like first we will run the nginx server and let's see whether it is up or not so for that what i am doing is like i am just giving the command docker compose up i want to build it and i am giving nginx the name of the image over there and it is pulling up from the code let's see okay it is getting started now let's browse our application over here control shift 10 okay it will serve with http yeah see here it will it is serving with http only and it is uh, my engineering server is coming up over here and you can able to see it is not secure now our uh, demo is like we need to make it as more secure by installing a certificate now what we'll do is like again we'll be going to the mobile xstrom in another terminal i am installing a certificate for that i am running the command docker compose ifn f the compose file name docker compose before that i refresh this terminal over here you can able to see here docker compose the file name is okay before that i need to navigate to that folder then only i can able to run the docker file change directory docker now i can run my command docker compose file name is docker hyphen compose hyphen certificate dot yaml i make it up and also i need to build it let's see what is doing again it will pull the image and if everything will works fine means you can able to see the certificate generated and this container will get stop itself after installing a certificate yeah it see right successfully receive the certificate and also as, as i said right uh, i make the challenge as http challenge so it will make the it will make a request like whether there is a, any a record set in the our uh, route 53 hosted zone or not so it will check the challenge and once it is uh, fine and it will receive the certificate and the certificate will be saved in this location okay now what we can do is like again we can go to this terminal we'll stop this this nginx server now we need to update the nginx config file for that what you have to do is like we can open that nginx file the nginx file will be there in the config folder see the the config folder you can able to see so i can go to that folder config and then i can open this file nginx config file and here what i have to do is like i need to add the one more server uh, port like i need to open it for uh, port 443 and i need to uh, place i need to tell like this is a certificate you need to get it from there so i have this piece of code already in my hand so i just copying this one from my github repo just copying it here i need to update it for that i'm just giving insert command and i'm deleting it all the lines i am pasting it over here 
and see here while pasting it last like this and uh, once you are doing like this means you need to update the domain name here here this is my domain and this is a place where we are telling like this is SL certificate where, where we are placed like and this is a simple engineering file and uh, it is saying like we have the port open for ATN443 for HTTP and HTTPS if anyone tries to run the application I think it has been uh, not working fine I'm just removing it it's not pasted correctly okay I'll be getting this code from here Yeah, now it works fine. Just giving OK. And see here, this is a very simple engineers config file which is serving the application on two ports. One is 80 and 443, which is like HTTP and HTTPS. If anyone tries to access the application over HTTP protocol, it would be redirected to HTTPS as defined by the rewrite over here. And also here we have a configuration for our certificate, like where is the certificate will be there? SSL certificate and SSL certificate key. Just saving it. WQ. Now again, I am running my engineering server. Now in this time what I am doing is like just going back to the root folder cd dot dot and trying to run the command again docker compose up. I want to build it again in this time I am running it in a detached mode and this nginx yeah it's running fine and it is detached mode so it's come out of that uh, container now let's see the same while browsing it. it shows not secure right now I am refreshing it see here now it shows like it's secured and the certificate is valid now my application is served with over HTTPS and it is secured one that's it we have done we served our application over HTTPS now we can deploy your react or angular or API project in this Linux machine and serve with HTTPS finally things to note about the let's encrypt is like uh, be sure to know about the rate limit of let's encrypt SSL certificate for example for the same domain you cannot get the certificate more than 20 times per week if you exceed the limit it will block your domain and also like for every 90 days you need to renew the certificate for that you need to set up a cron job in that machine that can run every day and renew the certificate once the certificate is renewed we need to reload the nginx server then only it will uh, take the renewed certificate so these are the things you need to know about the let's encrypt okay friends let's see in another video have a good day